I absolutely welcome Vision Zero. Uh, I, th I think the uh, the vision of uh, zero harm in the, the industry is absolutely the uh, the right target. So to to have that as uh, as a vision and something to aim for uh, is is vital for the uh, for the industry and the members of uh, the Mineral Products uh, Association. And I do welcome the approach of Vision Zero. I think anything that, that focuses on health and safety within the industry is a good thing. Um, and I'm glad that there's such a spotlight on it and uh, it's in a format that people will understand it. It's not uh, all health and safety jargon, uh, it's in layman's terms. Um, we think it's right now to come forward with uh, the new Vision Zero um, with not just lagging indicators, but clearly now leading indicators. I think it's also important now that we learn to look forward. To restart and to reset, I think is is right for all of us. Um, and I, for one, clearly support the new, you know, the new uh, vision uh, of, of zero. The reality is in British Precast, our health and safety performance is not as good as we would like it. Our members um, acknowledge that and we can all do better. And I think this is a great timing because of the distractions that we've had through this year to say, right, Let's just refocus on the number one priority, which is health and safety. The industry is at the point where it had a significant wake up around about two years ago, um, when it was very apparent that the, the accident statistics and particularly the, the fatalities uh, that we, uh, we saw over um, a one year period, I think gave the, the industry, I think it shook it uh, quite significantly and I think people realised that um, perhaps they weren't as good as they thought they were. I think Vision Zero is important because we have a responsibility and um, statistics are showing that we're not doing as good as we should be doing so therefore we have to sit up and take notice. But uh, this, this uh, common vision is something uh, that underpins I think and what the MPA is, uh, is, is about, you know, it's what the industry is about you come to work to work and you go home safely. The, the collaborative approach um, is far more likely to, uh, to work than uh, uh, people going it alone. And um, the, what the uh, Vision Zero does is, is um, you know, it, it provides that cohesion, if you like, and uh, you know, people can choose to take it or, uh, or leave it. But those people who, um, uh, wish to improve their uh, health and safety performance, what this offers is uh, is a route by which they can do it. You know, between the British Precast members, there has been a lot of collaboration and sharing, and I'll give an example on pre-stressing. Pre-stressing wire rod can be a very dangerous activity, and the members acknowledged that a few years ago. And so competing members work together to come up with procedures to reduce and eliminate the risk in that activity. And that is a very good example of where working together can improve the safety in members' factories. However, there's a lot more opportunities to do this. Far too often we are trying to solve problems on our, on our own. And the reality is none of us know everything. There's not one individual and there's not one company who has all of the knowledge. If we work together and pool that knowledge, pool that resource, we can create safer, better manufacturing factories quicker. Wherever you look in our industry, you'll find groups of people coming together and cooperating and collaborating to try and make our workplaces better. Better for all of us, healthier, safer, and enhancing the well-being of everyone involved. I think this is a sector that in a sense specialises in sharing and collaborating. At my very first meeting as chairman of the Health and Safety Committee, we all agreed to share all the health and safety information we had in each company, including videos, best practice documents and so forth, to help promote good health and safety practices across the industry. And it's a particularly vibrant uh, committee. We regularly get attendance of over 30 plus members, Obviously, the MPA um, safety wards, as this would have been, is where we come together to share best practice, share new ideas, um, challenge ourselves, and always look forward. Fundamentally, we're a lot more labour intensive than other parts of the industry. 
And that's perhaps an excuse that we've used over the years as to why our health and safety performance hasn't been as good as other parts of um, construction, building materials industry. But we need to put the excuses to one side, just look at what the, the, the best in the industry, the best in the building materials industry are doing and set those higher benchmarks, those higher targets and focus on that. Back to the isolation piece, because I think that really was for me uh, that one example of where we produced the pocketbook around uh, guidance for uh, it, uh, um, isolation on, on site in a very easy, simple way. Uh, everybody who was a member of the MPA had the guidance um, in their top pocket. Easy reference. We were able to communicate that one piece of information cross sector, uh, which shows the power that when the MPA comes together and we agree behind one vision, one target, one piece of information that we can get it far and wide, quick and fast and get it adopted. You know, leadership comes in uh, in many forms and um, in, uh, in the workplace, leaders um, are, can be found at uh, so many levels. Um, uh, and uh, we have to be clear that we're talking about good leadership because there, there are examples of poor uh, leadership out there, but uh, good leadership is, uh, is critical to, to this because it, it's the leaders that set the, uh, the policy. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, I think uh, to get them on board, you have to include uh, the employees, make them feel part of it. Um, there's no point running a campaign that they're not going to be interested in it. So involving them is uh, a massive part of uh, Vision Zero. When I work on walk onto a shop floor and I see practices and procedures that my colleagues from the shop floor have devised, they've come up with the procedures to make their workplace safer. And they've come up with, the, they are managing those procedures themselves. And it's not, it's not myself as a director of a business walking in telling people what to do. It's when, when I get to colleagues on the shop floor saying, Alan, this is what we want to do to make my workplace safer. Then, you know, I know I'm getting there, Sybil. Uh, we want everybody to come to work uh, with the ambition that they can challenge their surroundings, that if they're not comfortable with what's being asked to do, that they stop, um, you know, they, they reset, uh, they discuss, and then they move forward again. I, I want an organisation where everybody is very, very comfortable to stop the operation, the process, the environment that they're working in and say, I am uncomfortable here. I do not feel safe. And they have the authority and the confidence to stop that process. My personal pledge is to continue to support the MPA uh, and the industry to keep moving forward. Uh, safety uh, is around, you get up every morning and you challenge yourself to be better than you were the day before. Uh, you, we come to work and we expect to go home safe. Firstly, as president of British Precast, my principal aim is to have British Precast align the health and safety performance behind that of the MPA. Look at, to look at the MPA and see what good looks like and to accept that in British Precast we can do better. I think it's very important that we take our responsibilities as employers on board and that everybody's got a right to go home after a day's work. And as a family, we like to put our head on the pillow at night and know that we've done all that we can. Um, so I think it's, it's paramount that the, the health and safety of, of all the employees. I've always had a strong commitment to good health and safety management. This was reinforced when, as a young assistant manager in a quarry in the Midlands, I had to attend a funeral of an employee who was killed whilst carrying out a maintenance function at the quarry. The sound of his wife and of his four young children wailing in that church is something that I will never forget for the rest of my career. And it's driven me to always go for the highest standards of health and safety in every area of the business that I've ever worked and something that I wish to promote across the industry. I think that it's an opportunity for everyone to get together, cooperate and collaborate from the most senior director to the newest operative.
and work together in order to look after everyone in the way that each of us would wish to be looked after. Although the mineral products sector sounds like it's a very hard-nosed operation, it's also a bit like a family. And I think Vision Zero is what we would want to have for those that we love and care for.